Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to use Animset for two-handed weapons and Animset I'll be using is Longsword Animset Pro from Marketplace a uh, link to this will be in the description so firstly I will copy sword socket from skeleton disk pack so I won't have to set it manually Now we need to retarget all of those animations to Skeleton from Dynamic Combat System. And the easiest way is to remove Skeleton from Longsword Pack and then retarget all animations to DCS Skeleton. And this way we don't have to duplicate them. Okay, and now we will create a locomotion blend space that will be used by two-handed weapons. And as reference, we could use other blend space like one-handed or unarmed, which is included in this yes. Let's try to add sword mesh to previously added socket. It will be easier to test animations this way. So firstly, let's rename this socket. And as you can see, sword is rotated in the wrong way, so we need to fix it. There is already an example of a two-handed weapon called Greatsword. Let's open it. And it has negative attack speed modifier. Uh, let's remove it. And let's also change its attachment socket in displayed item blueprint. Now we can add two-handed locomotion to animation blueprint. And this longsword pack includes block idle animation. We can use it on upper body when character is blocking. And for that we will use a lead blend per bone. So let's copy it from somewhere. Okay, as blend alpha, we will use block alpha. 
and we can cache this pause and use it when two-handed weapon is equipped. Now let's test it. And seems like I forgot to connect nodes, so let's go back there. Okay, and let's test it once again. Okay, and when two-handed weapon is equipped, we are playing our new animations. Okay, and now when we have our locomotion animations, we should also change animation montages like attacks. We can copy paste one handed montages data table and rename it to two handed. Now let's open combat character blueprint and change output in function get montages when equipped weapon is two handed. Okay, now we need to change montages in this data table. So firstly, let's create light attack montages. So long's attack RD will be first light attack. So let's create a montage from this animation. and long's attack L will be second light attack. So let's do the same. Now let's open and modify those montages. So firstly, I would change slot to full body. Then I would change its duration It will be 0.1 and as end time I will set about 0.5 because we don't need that long recovery part. Okay, now let's add rotate owner notify. It will allow us to rotate Kataka character on the beginning of the animation. Let's also change max degrees per second to 540 and from about 30 to 55 percent of the animation i will set input buffer notify okay now in the last 10 percent of the animation i will add notify ignore motion it will allow us to take control over the character a bit faster and now let's also add hitbox notify when sword swings and play sound swing sword okay and now let's do the same for second animation so change its slot the duration Okay, let's add notify rotate owner. Then in about 20 to 45 percent I will add input buffer. But of course you can modify it as you want. Okay. 
and in last 10% I will ignore root motion. Okay, now let's also have hitbox and play sound or swing its sword. Okay, now let's update those montages in data table. And we can test them in game. So let's take with two-handed weapon and try light attack. Okay, and seems like they work just fine. Okay, so I went through all the animations in this anim set and I've chosen the ones that fits best in my opinion. I will just show the settings and animations that were used, but of course you can choose different animations and different settings, it's only up to you. Okay, and now we can finally test those animations and that's basically all in this video I wanted to show. So thanks for watching, bye. Thank <laughs> you.